Hello guys, so you're here because you want to create a website for your video game, which is actually easier than you think using HTML and CSS. I'm not going to be covering any backend in this tutorial, and so go so uh, go find another tutorial. This is only going to be front-end HTML and styling using CSS. So if you like what you're seeing, be sure to subscribe and like that bell. It's, it always helps. So um, let's get started. So I have Visual Studio Code open here. You can use any text editor on the face of the earth to do this. So um, just type an exclamation mark if you're using Visual Studio Code. And we can just go ahead and change this title to my game website. Like so. And then we can just stick an H1 in here. And just call this uh, game. Let's just say game title here. Like so. You can save this. Go to your browser. I'm going to be using Opera GX for this. And then refresh and then we have our game title here. So, um, I'm not going to actually cover linking things, but, uh, because I don't have anything available to link, so, just, but I think you will get the point. So, we can just type in a P as well, and say this is more information about my game. And then we're going to be using something called unordered lists, and we can just do that by typing in ul, like so. <clears throat> and then for list elements, we type in ly, like so. And then we can just say, let's give it an a. And then we can just give this an href of. Let's give let's just give it hashtag Windows build. Let's just give it game and windows like so. We'll go back to Opera. See here, this is more information about your game. We have game windows, like see, like here, and then we can add more list elements, like so. And then we can give it a, a nature of hashtag. Linux build, like so, that'd just be your Linux build if you have one. <clears throat> you can just use basic Visual Studio Code elements to link it to your actual game. And we can just say game Linux, like so, and then we can go back into Opera GX, boom, we have game Linux. <clears throat> but now, this page is really ugly really ugly. People are not going to download a game from a website that looks like this. <laughs> so, we're going to have to link a style sheet. And if I have this right, type in link, and then just type in style.css. Like so. Everything should just be normal. We can give you wills and ally styling and list style none because people don't like those little discs there like so we can also remove all padding um, padding zero percent now we have our game in a list so game windows and game linux but this background's ugly so let's just go to the body and give it the color of let's just say I thought there's okay there we go so if you're using visual studio code you can just scroll down like so to get more colors and then now we have some uh, colors so we're going to be covering we're going to do a style of background of color. And let's just give it a color of like full white. And then for H1s, H2s, 
aged greens. We can give it a color. Now let's change this color up here. No. Of, let's give it a color of gold. Then we can just give this a color. If I can spell, color of white. And so close it. We can go back to upper here, and now we have our uh, colors, but we forgot to color our uh, paragraph here. So we can just go back and add another section like so. And now we have our thing. So uh, you probably want to import a font. So go to Google Fonts in your browser. It should be the first one here. I'm going to be using Roboto, so just go here, and then we find the one we want, I'm going to be using Thin, and then we use uh, this one, I think it is, for each HTML, and just copy that, and go into your index.html, paste it in, now it pasted in a very ugly format, but it's okay. So, um, that should work. We should have to go into our, uh, CSS rules and just copy this a bunch of times into here, like so. And then we can just go back to Opera. Now we have some robotics. Wait a minute. And you can use inspect element to uh, see which type of ones you're using. Okay, for some reason it didn't. Oh, I forgot to do that. Be sure to save often. <laughs> okay, now it should work. Yeah, now we have our Roboto here, so I think you're starting to get the idea, but right now this doesn't feel very nice to just hover over, so we want to scale it up, but and we can do that by using a hover, like so. Now we can just do scale, let's give it a scale of 150%, which is a relative percentage, so we can just do that like so, and just reload. And for some reason that did not work. Uh, font size, it's font size, not scale. <laughs> That's why. Oh, sorry if I just pinged my microphone. Okay, now it should size up. That feels a lot better to use. Now you probably also want some buttons for uh, other things like a contact or documentation or something about the game so we can use a, an unordered list again and give it a list element and a element and then a button element like so and just say uh, contact it might give an error saying it can't be nested inside, but literally no one cares. It works, it works. So we can just give this a href of contact. Like so. And then we can come back in here. And then when we click on the button, it'll give this hashtag contacts. So you've created a button. I actually think we can do a So yeah, it has to be inside here. Let's remove all padding and padding and there. Like so. So now we shouldn't have. Okay. I I still don't understand why there's a slight little thing there. So you've learned how to create buttons and more slightly more advanced styling. Um how to import Google fonts, uh, buttons that can link to places, list items, 
hashtags and all that. Um, so, in order to insert an image, you can just come up here and say image and give this just a hashtag source and just say a uh, game logo here. I think that should work. So if it can't be loaded in, yeah, it just says game logo here. Uh, that isn't pretty, so we can just uh, go into here uh, with the image, like so. Okay, I don't know why that's, oh, because it's empty. Um, and give this a font color. We can give this a font color of, uh, just a color of full white, like so. So now there should be a game logo here. So I hope you found this tutorial informative. Um, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. It really helps the channel. Uh, so, fun you were out.